few years back, I was tasked with a project that required a little bit more than what Core Joomla could do. And so I went over to the Joomla.org extensions directory and looked up CCKs. CCKs uh, are content construction kits. And I pretty much went through all these and looked at all their features and what they can do. And a few of them, I downloaded them and I saw what other sort of things there were. And I landed on Flexi Content for a number of reasons. And I've done a couple of sites with it now. And although it's not for every site, it certainly is for things that require something a little bit more customized. So I thought I'd give a quick rundown um, to people who hadn't used it before and were interested in what it could do and how I did some things. Here I have a test site that's kind of ugly and just has some automated information here. We're going to go ahead and install it. First I'm going to show you what a Joomla core looks like and then I'll show you what changes are made. So at the core of Joomla, the website is made up of these articles. And here's the home page article. And here we're in the administrative area, and we're just over at the content of the website in the articles. And here's our home page article. Now some CCKs install a completely separate co component. So you have content here, and then you would have content under something else, like, um, you know, K2. That would be a CCK. Here, when we install Flexi Content, it takes over this whole Joomla Core articles area. And I specifically wanted this for the project that I first started working with Flexi Content on because I wanted to take advantages of a few plugins that worked with Joomla articles but wouldn't work with any of the other CCKs or wouldn't work easily with them, let's put it that way. So let's go ahead and install it and then see um, how it changes. Uh, to install a component at Joomla, it's simply over at the extensions install. And here I'm going to upload the latest version of the uh, Flexi Content component. And it takes a sec, so let's come back when it's done. Okay, and the installation was successful. So let's go ahead and go back to this con content articles and look at what's changed. Boom. Whole different look. And this gives us some um, things that we need to update and refresh. So let's just go ahead and do that and come back. We went through all the prompts that Flexi Content told us to do. And now when we go to Content Articles, it looks like this. Or you can go to Components, Flexi Content, Items. There's so many options here that can get a little bit overwhelming. So I'm going to take this in chunks 